Hello, grade 12s. Our series is on work, energy, and power. This lesson will focus on the definition of work. In everyday language, work means to do something physically, and here are a few examples. When you hear the word work, what do you think about? Your dad working late at the office. Piles of homework. Working at the pizza place for extra cash to spend during the holidays. Your mom hanging out the clothes on washing day. Or perhaps helping your cousin move into a new flat. The concept of work has a scientific connotation. We are going to define work as follows. Work is a product of the displacement and the component of the applied force, which is parallel to the movement of the object. Let us look at some examples of how the definition of work can be illustrated. A 20 kilogram block is moved 10 meters to the right on a frictionless horizontal surface by a force of 13 Newton. When a 13 Newton force is applied on a 20 kilogram block, the block moves 10 meters in the direction of the force and therefore work is done on the block. Let us look at another example where the same applied force is acting on the same 20 kilogram block but this time at an angle of 60 degrees. A force of 13 Newton is applied at 60 degrees to a 20 kilogram block. The block is displaced horizontally for 10 meters. We can see in this example that the 20 kilogram block moves 10 meters horizontally and not upwards at 60 degrees. In this case, work is done by a horizontal force, which is a component of a 13 Newton force. In both examples, the 20 kilogram block is displaced in the direction of the component of the applied force. Therefore, in both examples, work is done on the block by horizontal force. At this stage, we should realize that the force which does not work is not necessarily the applied force, but the force which moves the object in its direction. Work can be defined mathematically as work is equal to the applied force multiplied by change in x multiplied by cos of theta. This formula can be used to calculate work done on an object by a force or even work done by an opposing force. In the formula, W stands for work done, F is the applied force, theta is the angle between the applied force F and the component of the applied force, and change in X is the displacement. The SI unit of work is joules and the symbol is J. It is important to know that work is a scalar quantity. It means that work has no direction, it is qualified by magnitude only. There are two conditions for work to be done on an object. Firstly, there must be a force applied, and secondly, the object must be displaced in the direction of the component of the applied force. The work done by a force such that the object moves in the direction of that force is called positive work. Work done by an opposing force is called negative work. Let us always remember that work is the product of the displacement and the component of the applied force which is parallel to the movement of the object. Let us also remember that this formula is the mathematical representation of the definition of work and it is used to calculate work and solve some of the work-related problems. This brings us to the end of our lesson about the definition of work, grade 12s. You will also find more information about work at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.